Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is another video talking about my favorite frequencies, the ones that I like to tune around because there's something interesting for me there. One of the probably one of my favorite activities is to chase down pirate radio stations. They are uh, plenty out there. They are almost daily, pretty much daily, if you look at HF Underground posts. It doesn't happen often that there's a day goes by without at least a couple of pirate stations broadcasting. Now with solar activity being down in the low part and uh, winter propagation conditions, a lot of pirates have actually moved down to lower frequencies. So we're going to talk about the different range where you should be on the lookout just in case some pirate station pop up. Remember, pirate stations can be anywhere on the shortwave spectrum. I've had some as high as 21 megahertz. So it gives you an idea that um, they could be everywhere. But most of the time, there are some places where you can actually be on the lookout for pirate activity. We call them the pirate bands. And uh, you can, of course, expect all sorts of programming coming out of these stations. Music, comedy. Uh, some are really, you know, have these... Uh, on, on, on radio personalities of a sort, and uh, each has some kind of unique little touch to their own little uh, programming. So remember that pirate stations are low powered for the most part, so they might be a little more difficult to receive than the average broadcast, but also kind of brings the challenge of listening to those stations at the same time. So in North America, the pirate bands are mostly um, from 6,800 to 7,000 kilohertz. So the range that you see here that I'm tuning into here from 6,800 and even lower, you can even almost uh, now use um, 6,700 all the way up to 7,000 kilohertz. Uh, 6,925, 6,955, 6,930 or 6,950 are some of the frequencies used the most, but tune around in that range, you might hear something uh, in the pirate bands, and uh, you know, be on the lookout, it could happen at any time of day, honestly. Also, a lot of them have been showing up now around 5,000 uh, kilohertz, so like anywhere from 5,000 to 5,200, uh, these, that 200 kilohertz space has had a lot of pirate stations in the past uh, few, the past few months, and uh, there are a lot of them that use that frequency range regularly. So check it out because you never know what could happen. And one of the very popular, I would say, after six, uh, 69, around the 6900 kilohertz range, the second most popular range probably. The bottom part of 4 megahertz, anywhere from 4,000 to 4,200, a lot of pirates have been actually using this band in the last months because it's one of the areas where propagation at night and the winter nights uh, is actually better than being higher uh, because of the low maximum usable frequencies. So f I'll po post these ranges in the description below the video. You guys in Europe uh, have pirates in uh, different ranges than here in North America. Uh, some of the ranges is the upper range. You know, here in North America, the 80 meter band for, for amateur radio goes all the way up to 4,000 kilohertz. But in most of Europe, it ends at 3,800 kilohertz. So you can actually hear often pirates from 3,800 all the way up to 4,000 kilohertz. There's also the 6200 to 6400 kilohertz range. A lot of stations use that range. So 6200, 6400. Uh, some of them actually make it all the way up to North America. One that I've heard regularly is Laser Hot Hits on 6205. And uh, if you listen, sometimes you might hear some European pirates. Same for the North American pirates. Some of them actually do make it all the way to Europe. And uh, these are kind of a lot of fun to tune around. So, you know, chase around, look around. I'll post the frequency ranges and also post the excellent link for the HF Underground website, the place to be 
if you want to see if there's some pirate activity around. Uh, I mean, there as soon as a pirate appears there, it's pretty much, uh, it takes just a couple of minutes and somebody posts uh, in the HF Underground. Uh, it's divided into several sections. Uh, there's the one called Shortwave Pirates, that's for North America, and there's one for European Pirates. There's also one for Medium Wave, Latin America Pirates, FM Radio, and so on. Check it out, a really nice website to go to HF Underground. The link is in the description below the video. Uh, as long as, you know, uh, with the frequencies that I've just mentioned, mentioned for pirate activity and uh, be patient. Most of them are in single sideband, but don't despair if you've got an AM only radio. There's regularly some AM pirates also broadcasting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thanks for watching.